Did you know you had this performance in you? Did you know that, as an actor, you had this... I knew it wasn't asked of me. I knew it was material I hadn't seen before. And I just knew the basics of it when I went to meet Darren. Um, he wasn't certain how he was going to make this movie because it would require the actor to clearly wear extensive prosthetic makeup. Yeah. To create Charlie's body. And... And did that help or hinder? Help, absolutely. Yeah. Because um, it was designed with the rules that it would obey gra gravity and physics. And um, it, was, it was appropriately uh, heavy. And uh, that really made the experience of playing the part, I think, really a, a lot closer to what it would be like to live in a, a body of a man that size, for me, personally. Yeah. Because when it came off, I could still feel an undulation. You know when you get the feeling when you step off a boat onto a dock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, kind yeah. of in vertigo? Yeah. I think what that was is just showing me that it, it's still with me. And, and it also let me know that to be a person of that size, you really have to be very strong, physically, like, physically just and a, emotionally. Yeah, yeah. And I grew to appreciate that by having played this part. And uh, you're one of those actors, you've been working constantly, and yet this has been described as your renaissance, because people <laughs> like words like that. Uh, does, does it feel... Like they have! I didn't make this shit up. Uh, Me neither. <laughs> hey, look, we just work here, OK? <laughs> uh, does it feel like a renaissance to you? Every time I hear that, I want to look at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here's Rick O'Connell. Oh, look, there's George of the Jungle. <laughs> Foreshortening. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I, you can call me whatever you want, just as long as you're calling me. OK. <laughs> and presumably people are calling you. Are they? They must be.